we will explore the incredible inventions of the past and discover 10 technologies that were far ahead of their time. From ancient advanced weaponry to sophisticated and mysterious creations, these technologies showcase the remarkable achievements of the centuries ago. So let's dive in and uncover some of history's most remarkable inventions. It's no secret that Damascus steel is one of the most coveted and sought after weapons and tools ever created. But what is it exactly? What is so special about it? Damascus steel is steel produced 3,000 years ago in the Middle East. Its most distinguishable feature is its unique pattern and marks on the surface which look like flowing water and flame. This is caused by the method of manufacturing which involved hammering and folding the metal many times over, creating layers. The carbon content was also extremely high which added to the strength and durability of the weapon. This impressive combination of strength and aesthetic beauty made this type of steel highly sought after and widely used by warriors of Middle East and Central Asia. There were even knights from Europe who traveled all the way just to acquire weapons made of Damascus steel. But the mystery of how this metal was produced remains to this day. The techniques to make these swords were lost around the 1800s. But it is commonly thought that the secret of Damascus steel was kept by a few top blacksmiths who pass it from generation to generation. It may look like your average concrete mix, but there's actually more to it than meets the eye. Roman concrete, also known as opus cementicium was used in construction of structures like bridges, harbors, and aqueducts. It was so effective and durable that structures dating back 2,000 years are still standing today. The secret to Roman concrete strength and durability is lime. When it comes in contact with water, it forms a mineralized paste that doesn't crack in the face of changing temperatures and humidity. And because the recipe for Roman concrete hasn't changed much over the centuries, we can still use it in the modern construction industry. In fact, large-scale rehabilitation projects are already underway for ancient aqueducts, fortresses, and other defensive structures. So there you have it, Roman concrete, a building material that resists the test of time. During the 4th century, Constantinople was on the brink of disaster as Arab forces besieged the city. In a last-ditch effort, Emperor Constantine formulated a plan to protect his city. He developed an incendiary weapon that would eventually become known as Greek fire, flames that don't go out. The exact recipe for the mysterious Greek fire has been lost to history, but historians believe it was some combination of sulfur, saltpeter, tar, and possibly quicklime, amongst other ingredients. When shot from a catapult, it would create epic plumes of flame that could not be extinguished by water. This, combined with Constantinople's impressive defensive wall, helped protect the city from the siege. To this day, we still don't know exactly how Greek fire worked, but it is no doubt one of the most significant pieces of ancient warfare technology. The story of Greek fire may just be a legend, but it's a legend that still has the power to fascinate even centuries later. The most iconic architectural feature of ancient Greek culture, the Greek doors. Greek doors sometimes referred to as Greek porticus, were a commonplace site in ancient Greece. Built into the walls of sanctuaries and temples, these monumental entrances drew attention to the dignified space that lay beyond. But there was more to these doors than meets the eye. Symbolic figures and designs such as the meander pattern and spiral motif line and decorated each door to illustrate the spiritual significance of their purpose. Many times, these symbols were meant to ward off evil spirits or preserve the power of the gods. Others were merely decorative, but all were a part of the same unified purpose, to create an awe-inspiring entrance, to awe and inspire all who passes through. So next time you're out and about in ancient Greek ruins, Keep an eye out of these impressive structures. 
you never know just how much wisdom and beauty was built into those imposing walls. Long before the invention of modern battery, it's said that ancient humans were already experimenting with storing electricity in the region of Mesopotamia. Researchers studying artifacts from the region commonly known as the Cradle of Civilization recently discovered what is believed to be the earliest use of a battery, known as the Baghdad Battery. This ancient device was made around 250 BC in the area which is now Iraq. Made from a clay vessel, the Baghdad Battery consisted of an iron rod surrounded by copper sheeting. The jar was filled with an acidic liquid that was believed to be grape juice or vinegar. This was what stored the electricity. Remarkably, modern tests have shown that the Baghdad battery can actually produce a small electrical charge. While the Babylonians won't get any credit for inventing the modern battery, they did manage to invent an exciting way to store electricity thousands of years ago. A feat that proves just how inventive the human race can be. This Viking runic symbol, sometimes called the Compass of Thor, has been found in at least two ancient Icelandic grimoires, the Hald Manuscript and the Galdra Book. Its exact meaning has been lost to time, but the general interpretation is that it is a wayfinder, a symbol of protection and guidance. The symbol is believed to be used as a guide to help ancient Nordic sailors to find their way in bad weather. Its traditional uses also includes warding off dark forces and providing its carrier with more general spiritual guidance. Since its rediscovery, the Vigvisir has enjoyed a resurgence in popularity. Nowadays, it is often seen adorning the backpacks of hippies, boomers, and hipsters alike. To provide a sense of spiritual protection and guidance. Whatever its modern connotation, the Vigvisir is an intriguing symbol with a long and mysterious history. Now, let's talk about an incredible invention in 129 AD, Zhang Heng's Seismoscope. It's a machine hundreds of years ahead of its time, one that could detect earthquakes hundreds of miles away. Back then, in ancient China, earthquakes were seen as messages from gods, so the task of predicting them was highly sought after. Enter the incredible Zhang Heng, who developed a device that could actually detect the impending seismic waves of an earthquake. The device was basically a large bronze, vase-like structure with eight dragon heads shaped differently that pointed in each direction. Each one of these heads held a metal ball in its mouth. When an earthquake occurred, the seismic waves would cause the metal ball to move in the dragon head. Where it was released from would tell the exact direction the seismic waves were coming from. Amazing, right? It was well ahead of its time and shows just how brilliant the ancient people were. But there was just one tiny problem. It actually didn't work. As much as I wish it did, it wasn't able to detect earthquakes. It took another 2,000 years before an instrument could actually measure earthquakes. So it's no wonder Zhang Heng's invention didn't work. But it's still a testament to ancient ingenuity, and I'm sure inspired people who helped make measuring earthquakes possible. Welcome to the one of the most mysterious monuments of ancient India, the Iron Pillar of Delhi. This mysterious feat of engineering has baffled scientists for centuries as it still stands in perfect condition despite being over 1,500 years old. Located just outside the Kuwait ul Islam Mosque within the Qutub Minar complex of Delhi, this unique structure provides a fascinating window into the advanced levels of engineering achieved by the mysterious people of ancient India. The iron pillar is made of highly sophisticated corrosion-resistant metals created by combining numerous elements and unique techniques. Even after being exposed to the harsh weather of Delhi for thousands of years, this iron pillar is still in a remarkable condition. At an impressive 23 feet in height, the iron pillar is one of the most enduring man-made structures ever created. 
its longevity is even more remarkable because of the fact that it was created without the use of any wielding techniques. In addition to its impressive engineering, the Iron Pillar also contains numerous inscriptions in Sanskrit. These inscriptions offer a glimpse into the culture of ancient India, allowing modern-day researchers to draw interesting conclusions about the history of this remarkable structure. This mysterious artifact stands as a reminder of the advanced engineering capabilities of the people of ancient India. It still fascinates scientists, historians, and tourists alike, who all come to the Qutub Minar complex of Delhi to behold its magnificent and attempt to unravel its mysteries. In 1900, a dive to the depths of the Antikythera shipwreck uncovered an incredible, impressive object the Antikythera Mechanism. This complex gearbox and its many dials aren't constructed out of the parts you'd expect to find in a typical machine, but out of bronze, marble, and some very modern engineering. Found over 2,000 years after its initial construction, the mechanism has fascinated and puzzled historians, scientists, and archaeologists alike. After much research, it is now believed to be the world's oldest known mechanism to calculate astronomical phenomena such as eclipses and the location of the planets. It credibly advanced for its time. The Antikythera mechanism is evidence of a sophisticated knowledge of mathematics, engineering, and astronomy that's well ahead of its time in an impressive reminder of the innovation, determination, and the ambition of our ancient ancestors. So the next time you board a ship, keep an eye out for an archaeological treasure like the Antikythera Mechanism. You know, just in case. Introducing the Lycurgus Cup, a mysterious Roman artifact with a fascinating history. This cup dating back to the 4th century AD features a mix of gold, silver, and a rare type of glass called dichroic glass. What sets it apart from other cups of its time is that it has a construction that allows it to appear golden to the observer when lit from the front, but an emerald green when lit from behind. Pretty cool, right? It gets even better. Archaeologists have recently discovered that this dichroic glass contained tiny particles of silver and gold, which were used to create this remarkable visual effect. This cup is significant because it is evidence that the Romans had awareness and access to scientific principles, which wouldn't be rediscovered until much later. It stands as a testament to the technical skills and innovations of its creators. So there you have it. The Lycurgus Cup is a prime example of Roman art and science coming together to create something unique and extraordinary. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you want to join this tech journey with us.